they've got an embarrassment of riches when it comes to Hollywood <laughs> stars on the show this morning, and they don't come much bigger than our next two guests. Between them, they've starred in some of our favorite movies, but never in one together until now. We're talking about Susan Sarandon and Naomi Watts. They're playing mother and daughter in the new movie, Three Generations. It's about one family's changing dynamics over the course of three generations, and what happens when 16-year-old Ray, played by Elle Fanning, wants to transition from female to male. Susan Sarandon, Naomi Watts. I wasn't sure if we had a clip. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. I was just saying this is so good. I feel like it's 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 a must see. What took you guys so long to work together? I mean, it was just. <laughs> the the usually usually of it. They usually only allow one gal per film. One, That's one the way. At a time. <laughs> And then you hate each other and you're not in the same scenes. It's very go. rare that you actually get to hang out. But in all seriousness, we were talking about the fact that transgender issues are very topical right now. It almost, it strikes a chord. And frankly, you learn a lot when you're watching it. Talk a little bit about, about this film. I think one of the reasons that it appealed to us was that it was so accessible. Uh, you know, it does, it's not a documentary, but it does bring up a lot of the fears that a parent would have, a lot of the concerns and this amazing, you know, all of the specifics that, that a kid would be going through and, and plus another subplot. And, uh, so you, you do find out a lot, but it's also kind of funny. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a sitcom about transitioning in a way, but because I'm is. so stupid <laughs> in it, really. I ask all the dumb questions and I have all the misconceptions, so it gives a voice to a lot of different concerns, and she's yeah. the mom, so she's kind we're, of... We're all going through it in d our different ways at, at, on different time programs, so, so it, it just it can relate to every person, I think, in terms of their schedule. And it doesn't feel like this is a movie that's hopping on a, a transgender bandwagon. It mm -hmm. feels like a, a real story about real people. Yeah, I yeah. think we're hoping that it causes some kind of discussions, you know, that I always am so happy when I would go out to a film with my kids and afterwards we'd be able to talk, you know, about something mm -hmm. days later even. And I think it's that kind of a thing because it brings up a lot. But Elle grounds it. She does this extraordinary... She goes from being this kind of geeky girl uh, <laughs> to being this powerhouse and, mm -hmm. and really and kind of shows you how much it means to her. Mm -hmm. Him at that point. And I was only 16 when she That's shot right. this. What do you think it was like for her to take on such a demanding role? I think she embraced it fully. She did a lot of research. There's obviously a lot of um, things to read, great documentaries and things available. Um, she has she kids also in her met, school. She has exactly kids in her school who are fully transitioned. She met with um, kids that, you know, became very very helpful that we knew we were connected through the producers and as as did I with um, one of the moms who'd gone through it because it's you know we were all going through it in our different ways and um, it just there's so much humanity and so much heart and the family is united no matter what um, but there are times where they struggle because like I said they're on different and it's very important uh, it's to talk about the significance of support of the family, that, mm. that plays a huge part in the survival of a person that's transitioning to have the support of their family. The mm. suicide rate is much, 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 much lower. So it is about the family, not just about, right, but as, as she said, about everybody that's transitioning with her in a way. Mm. And what about, you know, when you, you walk about, when you work on something like this, uh, and then you transition in between different roles. Like, for example, you're doing Feud. You have that movie, uh, the TV series Feud. What was that like? I mean, again, working with another very strong actress. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, which kind of is, is so great to see. Well, that was like joining a cult in a way. <laughs> because it went on forever. And it was Ryan's world. And Jess had been in that world. And these really huge people to take on. And so I was terrified. I'd say for at least five weeks, I couldn't get the fear-fun ratio in my favor. Um, you and Jessica Lang were just... Uh, Jessica was great to work with, and, and really, it was such an extraordinary experience, and I'm happy it's over. Is it true? Did, did you, did you everyone watch likes it. Did you, no, no, you no, never no, no. really... No, because everybody's loving it. I'm going to dine out on that. I don't want my... If I see it, I'll just be thinking, oh, I should have done that better in this. So, no, I'm just going to go with everybody's positive reaction. and. <laughs> 
just delude myself. It's one of those things where it was water cooler conversation. You go and people be like, did you see if you, did you see what happened? That's good. It's yes. like you can talk about it. That's cool. Absolutely. Susan Saran and Naomi Watts, thank you guys so much for coming thank this you. morning. It was, it was a treat. I should say three generations hits theaters in New York and Los Angeles this Friday with an expanded release next Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.